Leonard's mom, like the fact that she, well, she's not the first mom I've heard of making her child a science experiment, but you know, to each their own. You can kill all the cards. Yes. Yep. You can sacrifice them. And they actually, he does. They sass you. If you watch their dialogue, I think if you try to kill the stoat, like sacrifice him on the board, he goes, oh, what the, right before he's taken off. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Still can't zoom out. We'll get there. You have no idea what I'm talking about if you haven't played this game, but we'll get there. <gasps> These are just harder matches. So that basically means that every single card he pulls, the wolf or a canine, they call them kin cards, is going to have the flying symbol on it. Any card he pulls. He has a special trophy, bitch. Undying on the turtle. Yes, I haven't really used the turtle. I haven't gotten, I haven't played enough to get to a high enough level to use the turtle enough yet. Oh, your mom's like that too? Oof. I can't imagine what it's like to have psychologists for parents. That's... I'm gonna put those two out. Okay. We've got a lot of squirrels over here too. Um, let me think. Shut up, I know! This game's so needy. There, I took it. You happy, Satan? You see his creepy-ass fucking eyes over there, by the way? Always there. Always watching. <clears throat> I like kernels. <gasps> no, Crash. Dude. I didn't... Crash, you good. I have never had a problem with people helping me with games. It's spoiling stuff. It's like when people are like, you know, back away and do this and this and this, and then you'll get that. Like, that shit drives me crazy. Like, I'll get there on my own. But being excited about a game with me, like, this is what friends do. I don't see it as backseating or anything. We're just both like the game. This is like friends hanging out like, dude, yes. I, I, I love it. You remember in Emperor's New Groove where Yzma was in the closet and her eyes got crazy? Kind of. And it, I mean, just wait. Just wait, Knives. I hope you can s stick around. <laughs> exactly, Moshe. That's what I was going to say. Like, every question you know is not just curiosity from your mom, which is bizarre. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put down a squirrel and then I'm gonna sacrifice them. They both fly, what fucking fucks? Okay. <gasps> you heard your cat's name? Oh my God, which one, what did I say? I don't even know. My totem was... Ugh, I know. Oh, fuck. See what I'm saying? Fucking fuck, fuck. Um, yes. So, we can do a squirrel, and we can do a dual sacrifice and put out our turtle. And I'm gonna put it... Uh, he'll kill either one. It doesn't really matter. Cusco and Yzma, stop it. We were saying that this guy's eyes kind of looks like Yzma when she's in the closet looking like a psycho, when she's like all evil and she's like, <laughs> that's, he looks like that. Yes. <gasps> Trapsy, how are you, love? Good morning. So, how are you? Happy Christmas, whatever you celebrate. If you don't celebrate, happy time zone. Just Microsoft Solitaire took a really dark turn with this patch. <laughs> Actually, just Bezos staring at you. <laughs> uh, you're three damage away from winning. Hell yeah. Now I'm five damage away, you fuck. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. I'm saying, I'm just reading what they're saying. I have no idea what it means. Besso, I just started playing it. Literally, I don't know anything at all. Like, I've done very little. Just enough to know that it's really cool, and I wanted to play it with you guys. Um, We can actually put them out, because we have a forever sacrifice. Back on the board. The, the stoat will actually, most of the time, just tell you you're doing a shitty job, and it's very discouraging. So close to winning. So close. Bitch! So close, though. Uh, 
That's right, motherfucker! Hail Satan. <gasps> Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Oh. Knock on wood. He believes in wood fairies. Excellent. We got a new card. <gasps> a proud wolf. Vicious contender. A sparrow. A flighty elk. It moves after attacking. So that's what this means. Basically, after it attacks, it will move left on the board. Unless something blocks it. Um, there's another one that looks just like this, but it's a fist, which means it'll push someone that's blocking it. So as long as it's not like the end of the game board, it'll push other cards to the left until it reaches that edge. Oh, is Twitch being weird? Guess what? <gasps> Chicken butt. Um, my Twitch chat has reset like 20 times today, so probably. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, one other thing you'll notice is this little mushroom. I'm not going to tell you what it means yet because we haven't run into what it means yet. Does it seem fine? Okay. My chat just keeps like refreshing itself and being like, welcome to chat. That's so I don't know. Mm. I'm going to take the wolf just because I already have a bunch of wolf cards, and there's some perks to that. If you can build up a deck that's, like, mostly kin or mostly elk or mostly something, you can get some perks to that later on. I'm personally, at the moment, not having any issues. Good. I am not using a VPN. Mm -mm. But Zach is streaming, and it is uh, Indie Day, which means he downloads games all day. So if I buffer, it is probably me, unfortunately. Um, I want to show you guys the campfire. Stretch with, oh, everything in my chest popped. That was fantastic. <laughs> Whoa, that was a good one. Sammy, Merry Christmas, honeybean. The campfire, you know, I've only fucked up once on the campfire. Dude, that emote is one of the oldest ones ever. It's a legend. It does kind of sound like a front for porn. <gasps> Hi, Chesh. I hail the dank lord, motherfucker. Thanks for the sob. <laughs> so, you came across a small group of survivors. Oh. Faces shrunken from starvation. They huddled around a campfire. They looked up upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire. That will enhance its power. If you look right there, it'll always tell you what the fire's gonna do, by the way. It's gonna give it a hit point. Just FYI. <clears throat> said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. So... Basically, you click the campfire, and you throw a card down, and that card will get hit points. However many times you lay it on the fire. But every time you leave it on the fire to gain yet another hit point, you run the risk of these people eating your card. Because they're hungry. Excuse me, attack, not hit. I was thinking, like, points to hit people. I used the wrong verbiage. I'm so sorry. Yes, attack. Yes. That was just me, my brain being stupid. Yeah. It's your attack points. Yes. You have health and attack points. Hit points was the wrong word. Because they're hung. Graver cock. <clears throat> so, no. No, Crash, I'm sorry because I'm a dumbass. I like being corrected. I, I don't take offense. If I use the wrong word, please help me. I don't want to sound that dumb. Um, So, I'm going to throw out my cat because that would be dope. I have never had a card eaten on one try. I've never had a card eaten on two tries. However, on three tries, I had a card eaten. Level at your own fucking risk. See? Without a word, you pulled the cat away from the fire and left after they gnashed their teeth at you. No, thank you. You notice chat wiping their puss puss. They place mother's sock back on the den. On wall. <laughs> She'll never know. <laughs> Lady Wolf, happy holidays, honeybean. The lovers reciprocated. <laughs> this foul cabin. Oh, okay, what up? 
All right, so we got two trees on the board, which means we've lost. Oh, that. There's something wrong with its face. <laughs> I can't get over it. Uh, <laughs> he's a special grizzly. <laughs> Pyroblade, Merry Christmas, honey, and thank you so much for being a part of my people. Right, basically. Basically. <laughs> that is exactly what that bear looks like. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, so we have one safe spot. Um... <laughs> Oh my god, Crash. It's this hilarious video of a child talking about how much he just loves Komodo dragons. It's probably one of the funniest, funniest videos I've ever seen in my life. Easily. I should really put the turtle out, because otherwise that fucking bear is going to kill me. As much as I wanted to put the wolf out, that's scary. <gasps> Cheers to Crimbus. I agree. If someone has the link, I'll fucking play it on stream right now. It makes me cry laughing. It's so cute and funny. The child wins the internet. Does anyone have the link to the small child who loves who loves Komodo dragons? I would love to watch it with you guys. It's so funny. Crash, it's just this little kid. I made him an emote. He's the follower emote. And I've just proudly displayed it in channel. He's my hero, this small child. I love him. I can't wait for you to see it. Knives, thank you. I know I retweeted it, but it was ages ago. <clears throat> I don't want to go digging for it. Um, it's it's still my turn. I don't yeah, I'm just gonna see what happens. Thank you, Knives. I think Knives is the one who originally gave it to me, honestly. Oh another one? It's just unkind what's happening with these grizzlies. My turtle's gonna die. Um. Bitch. 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 Um, we could. Oh, he hits for four, though. Bitch! That sounds like flapping badge. Fuck. Um. He won't hit me that turn. This guy will, so I should block him. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I have to do. <laughs> Gotta do it. Sorry, bro. Gotta die. I'm sorry. Gek, did you have wonderful food? It's troll face meme, but bear. <laughs> I love that you're so involved with your chat. It's like a breath of fresh air to people that ignore it the entire time. Thank you very much for that. I work, I mean, I've always been a fast reader, but I do. I do try to read every goddamn message in chat. I really do. Unless it's obviously not directed at me. <laughs> Even then, sometimes. I don't know. <gasps> Knives to the rescue! All right, I'm going to pack a bowl. And then we're going to watch this. And you're just going to love it so much. Because it's so... I mean, it's like pure. On top of being hilarious, he's one of those small... Kids are pure and beautiful. You guys know this. I fucking love children. They're so funny. They really do say. <coughs> She's, I mean, it's one thing to not, it, I totally respect not enjoying metal and not enjoying the type of music, but it's totally different to like discount someone's talent like that. It's like looking at someone's painting and being like, oh, they traced. Or like looking at someone's piece of art and being like, I can do that. It's that insult, like it's insulting shit. 
CK, the warrior will love you, but she will also beat your ass. I will beat love into you. <gasps> Hello, a newbie. How are you, love? And seeing teachers that have broken it down, yes, absolutely, yep. And she's one of the few people who growls in a healthy way. I don't know what that means, but I've watched people break down her singing, and they're like, oh yeah, she's not going to hurt her vocal cords. She's doing it the correct way, whatever that is. The way you don't burn out your vocal cords, apparently. I have a heating pad on my back because I kind of fucked my back up a little bit yesterday. Ooh! This is my first time ever. I literally, I started playing it a little bit on my own, and I was like, you know what? I need to play this with stream. So I started over. I deleted my file to play with everybody. So we're literally on the tutorial board right now. I haven't even been able to back away from the board yet for stream to see anything, so. Just so as you know. Fuck. I think we're supposed to die. This is terrifying. I guess I could show you the grossness. So, like I said, you get three special little things over here, like the bottles of squirrels and stuff. You get these pliers. What do you think you got pliers for? For that. Teeth. It's all teeth. It's so gross. So we can block one hit, but I think... I, I, I don't know. I think we're supposed to die. I think because it's like part of the tutorial, you know? I don't know. We'll see. Because I don't know how the fuck I'm going to not get my ass beat. Yeah. Yeah. Say goodbye, chat. We get to see how we die now. I don't like this part. <laughs> He's a big fat cheater. Yep. Yes, extra teeth is currency. There's other ways to get teeth too. I'll show you. Yes. Oh my God, Mark. Mark and I had a really good discussion about this the other day. Shaming people who use um, technology to create art. If you guys were around for like the dawn of creative category, that was a big like battle between the traditional. I was traditional, but I didn't even know this was happening. And the and the uh, digital artists. And this is my opinion. Do you really think, like, the great artists of our time, like uh, Michelangelo, if someone handed him a Cintiq, do you think he would have been like, no, I'd rather use egg yolks and chalk? No. He'd be like, bitch, what? No artist is going to turn down an opportunity to use a greater tool. Most of us are just too poor to have the digital shit, and that's it. I can't stand that shaming, yeah. Like, it's digital art is beautiful. Most of the time, I can't even tell the difference. Like, I've learned through creating digital art how to tell the difference, but... Yeah, that shaming shit is bullshit. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Let me push it in real quick. <laughs> Absolutely. That's the same same for me, Crash, with music, with uh, art that I look at visually, with anything. If it makes me feel things, I don't give a fuck what made it. Like, exactly the same. Yep. He'd probably call it the devil's work. Well, true. We'd have to explain it's not Satan. This is true. But like, you know, it's the same concept. Yeah. I don't I don't like when people shame each other like, oh, it's just digital. That must have been so easy. Go fuck yourself <laughs> right in the bee holes. We lost. Let's die. <laughs> Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick stick from atop the barrel beside the door. Oh, what? This is what I was talking about. This is where the game gets fucking weird. You get up from the table. And you fucking grab shit. You can, like, look at stuff. It's real creepy. Little players. Got some fucking safe over here. Some sort of dude to dude -de lead dude. Oh, bitch. I put your candle out. We got a, We got ourselves a, a wolf in a cage. We got ourselves a globe we can click. What the fuck? I'm saying. I already know about this stuff. I'm doing this for you so you can see what I'm talking about. It's very strange. Some shit over here. You can click on. Nothing happens. The book's not there yet. Um, What book? What are you talking about? And creepy fucking hand. Person. Literally, you can go over to him. Like, look at this. What the sin, Christ? Why? 
He's just tapping his fucking hand, being a fucking scary bastard. <gasps> oh, hell yeah! Kills, I love you. Go love on your family, honeybean. Oh. Now, sit back down. Yes, sir. Daddy. Let me explain something to you. Oh. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. Two lives. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? I don't know, Daddy Satan. And then you get back to the map. And now we're at the point where you can literally just back away from the table at any time and go walk around if you want to. But mm, there's nothing. Your, your cards that talk to you will tell you, like... Go check out the safe or do this. Like, they give you hints and stuff. So you want to pay attention to the creepy talking cards. Um, We used all of our shit. We used all of our special stuff. So I want to go to the bag. I'm going to go left. Free cards. <gasps> the reviled skunk. Its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. So if you put this in front of an enemy whose uh, strike points are two, it'll make their strike points one. Basically, that's what it does. It's a nice little emblem to have. Um, there's that mushroom again, which I won't tell you what it is, because we don't know technically yet. Um, and then I'm gonna go to the bag. Now you can see the options. <gasps> oh, he's not gonna give me options yet. Sick. A rock may get you out of a hard place. If you deem it necessary, you can cut up with- you can literally cut up your enemy's cards. Or we can rake our own teeth out of our face. I'm gonna take a boulder. <gasps> A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for one turn. So remember that, like, flying emblem that makes them jump over stuff to attack you? This will make it so everything on your team does it for one full turn. It's pretty dope. Uh, I'm gonna take a scroll. Ooh, a powerful item. Turn this and I'll skip my turn. That's a fucking good item to have. <laughs> I've crippled for all of us. <laughs> How far did you get before the reset? Although, oh, um, I have played... Two bosses. I think I can say that without spoiling anything. Um, my eyeball hurts really bad, and I have a special green friend in a jar. <laughs> Don't you all super want to play the game now? <laughs> Squeaky, you're a fucking delight. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> <coughs> Anyways, that's the pack. This is a boss. So, before you can look at the map, obviously, like while you're playing. You want to make sure you have some stuff over here before the boss and shit like that, usually, but sometimes you're just fucked, so. Major spoilers game ruined! Streamer fired. The trees wait. Um, nope. Yep, nope. Yep. Oh. oh, this is sexy. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Oh, he hot was the prospector, bitch. I'm gonna go fuck your daddy sister now. Uh, yuck. I apologize. <gasps> oh my god, Psyche, bitch. I love you so much. How are you? I mean, what's your third favorite dinosaur? Let's be honest. We all know how we're doing, and it's shit. 